What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button and also subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest of boxing. If you're new to the channel, definitely hit that subscribe button. Now, Boxing 2017 has been lit. It's been a lot going on. Follow me on social media at Boxing Ego, and we working. Now, I'll, I'll be real. I wasn't even paying too much attention to this. I just seen the picture and liked it and reposted it on my Instagram page. And Kovalev had dinner with Gennady Golovkin, and I thought it was a cool picture, so I just shared it and reposted with my following. And my caption says, too much knockout power at this table. Kovalev said yesterday, had a great dinner with Gennady Golovkin, right? And then he tagged his son and his wife, etc. Now, obviously, they're both gearing up for a fight. But the reason I'm making a video is because, like you guys see in the title... There's a lot of people that were saying that Golovkin looked kind of big, and he looked bigger than Kovalev, which he's fighting at light heavyweight. You know what I'm saying? And see why Triple G looks so big. So I want to know from you guys, what do, what do you guys think? Do you think he looks equivalent in size to, to Kovalev? Because they both have big fights coming up. Obviously, Kovalev's fight is next month, June 17th, I believe, versus Ward. That's going to be a very important fight for his career, if not the biggest, because the first one was supposed to be the end-all be-all but there was some controversy to some so obviously he's had a lot to say and Golovkin in September September 16th he's the one that has to make good with all the he's been calling out Canelo long enough you know what I mean and now he has his opportunity they're about to share the ring so see how much Canelo's improved since they sparred in 2011 I think it was and Triple G look like a light heavyweight here. He looks bigger than Kovalev. See, that's what I'm saying. A lot of people, Triple G has an enormous head. A lot of people, Gennady looks bigger than Kovalev. A lot of people were commenting on that. So, again, I want you guys to do the observation. It's, it's kind of hard to, for me to tell because they're both at a table. But Kovalev is a light heavyweight and Golovkin's at 160. So, I want to know from you guys, do you think this will play a factor into the fight? Because, obviously, you want to be... Canelo has definitely improved. You want to be in premier shape to fight Canelo, right? I'm trying to look at other pictures. This was from May 9th. And Canelo's just a sharp fighter. Golovkin clearly powerful. So I want to see what type of type of fight weight Golovkin is, is going to look like in, in this particular fight. He is the thing you have to keep in mind. He's thirty, about 35 right now. And... He's getting older, so maybe making weight is a little bit harder. I'm see this is an older, a little bit older picture earlier in the month of them too. It's hard. He's he's all has a jacket on and stuff. So I really want to know from you guys what you think is the deal. Is Golovkin does he have any issue making 160 at this point? Because Abel Sanchez did say if he can't get the redhead, aka Canelo, which they did get, then they would consider moving up 168 after unifying with Billy Joe Saunders. Now Billy Joe Saunders is fighting Aventel Kurtitze. Golovkin got what he wanted. He's fighting Canelo, who just moved up to 164.5. Now he's moving back down. Shut out Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. in a stinker of a fight. Canelo looked great. Can't really fault him. But now this is this is the, the biggest fight in boxing so far, right? I'm looking forward to it. This is a major fight for both fighters. Golovkin saying, I promise you. Hey, no, guys, I promise you true Mexican style fight big drama show are you ready september 16th so i mean you can't deny i mean he does bring it every time he fights you see an intensity you see a desire to win he even has the sombrero this is gonna be a good fight it's gonna be a big fight i can't wait till they nail down the venue and like get that on lock where it's gonna happen let me know what you guys think happens in this particular fight um man so much good boxing. June, I'm looking for September. Golovkin has all the belts except for one. This is him and his brother. And no, Max. A lot of people don't know this. I think it's, it's pretty funny and ironic. He has a twin brother, fraternal twin. They look alike. And his brother's name is actually Max. So when, when I used to hear him say that, hey, no, Max, to Kellerman, I didn't realize he had experience with the Max name because his brother's name is Max. Now, just so you guys know, for Ward Kovalev, to keep you guys fully in the loop in this one video, the HBO 24-7 Ward Kovalev, they are doing it. I don't know how many episodes, but as you see here, premieres June 2nd at 11.30 p.m. So HBO stepping up their, their boxing calendar. We got Canelo 
and Triple G. That's a September pay-per-view. Ward Kovalev, June, mid-June. And then they also have that triple header with Sullivan Barrera, Joe Smith Jr., Jezreel Corrales. He's fighting the guy that knocked out Gamboa, Robinson Castellanos. And the main event is Takashi Mira challenging the new WBC champion, Miguel Berchelt. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm glad HBO is... Showtime's been killing them. You know what I mean? Make no mistake about it, especially with their premium network. It's almost so far the first first second quarter you have no reason to even have hbo because they have a couple of good fights and they're mostly on pay-per-view but i'm glad to see that they're they have some big fights at least the pay-per-view fight this is not canelo liam smith this is ward kovalev too you know what i mean the numbers should be better because the first fight was a compelling fight there was some controversy drama sales and obviously, Triple G Canelo is a huge fight, so I'm, I'm glad for that, and I'm glad they have a boxing after dark that triple header. But here's a trailer. On an all-new 24/7, two bitter rivals prepare for the most anticipated rematch of the year. Light heavyweight champ Andre Ward looks to retain his hard-fought crown with the support of his team and family, while former champ Sergey Kovalev is on a quest to take back what was his. Step into their lives before they step into the ring. 24-7, Ward Kovalev 2. Dope. Ward is putting in that work. You see him covered in sweat. He's putting him in that work. Action. One word. Captions. And that's what I like to see. Like I said, at the end of the day, he says you have to work for it. June 17th, it's a good fight. You can't say anything. To me, this is, again, going to establish the pound for pound. Number one, even though I had Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez, I think he should have won his last fight. I, I didn't put him in the top three pound for pound. Definitely not the number one. I think it's still Ward Kovalev winner, the winner of this rematch. Clear it up. And then, obviously, the, the Canelo, whoever wins the Canelo Golovkin fight, that's going to have some serious implications. You know what I mean? Canelo, his resume is, is better than Golovkin, and this is a good fight. So... We'll see what happens in September. We'll see what happens in June. Let me know what you guys think. Drop it in the comment section. Make sure you share the video. Like the video as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego, signing off.